this. It's the Smock RSBT Hybrid. Um, as you can see, it's a tank with a window. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, different. I um, found it a little challenging to uh, coil, but we'll show you that when we get down there. So I am going to put a coil on this, and I'm going to wick it. <laughs> Hopefully, after all that, I'll vape it too. So I'll see you on the desk in just a second. Right, viewer. Um, yeah, so smock, smock. Come on, there you go, smock. Come on. You just love this camera, don't you? you gotta love it. RS VT hybrid. Um, why it's RS VT, I've got no idea. Um, rebuildable stainless bottom fed tank is the RSBT bit um, it's effectively an RTA um, <clears throat> but that's not the drip tip that comes with it it does come with a Pyrex drip tip that isn't the one I think my son's uh, borrowed mine um, first thing is the well the machining I mean look at that that's a whiz stainless tank protector if you want just there if I can get it to focus probably not knowing this camera um, there is the airflow control um, five little tiny holes just on the one side, nothing else on the other side. Um, <clears throat> and that little hole there, and that little hole there, <laughs> are for the wick. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. <clears throat> um, the 510, <coughs> excuse me, the 510 pin is adjustable with, as you can see, a Phillips head screw so there that is Phillips head screw um, so that is where you fill it and you unscrew that bit There's a nice little o-ring just there. Nice snug fit. Machining is good for sure. Um, and there is your Pyrex tank. It's a four, four, four and a half mil. Um, we just, it's a four mil tank. Yeah, it's a four mil tank. Um, and then the tank, state the. Pyrex tank obviously comes off. That's the chimney. Um, one piece chimney. Um, <laughs> and there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the deck. Um, come on, camera, get focused. Okay, there's the deck. As you can see, there's no slots or anything on the top. It's a finger, finger screw on both posts. Um, so and down there is the air hole, and those little slots there on the side are for the wick to go through. So this is definitely a case of less is more with the wick you put a normal size wick in that it's not going to go anywhere so yeah a bit of a challenge so i'm going to pop it onto a a mod i'll stick it on the evic vt because that's uh, short and fairly 
stable. Just wipe my fingers a second. Right, so we'll pop this on here. I'll put these bits to one side for a second and I'm going to do something that I vowed I'd never do on camera and that is make a coil and <laughs> attempt to coil that thing. I'm going to get a piece of canthal about yay big. It's about well Eight, ten inches. There's a good reason for that. Um, I'm going to wrap it on a three mil post. Maybe you can see that or not. Um, I'm going to wrap it on a three mil post. And <clears throat> yeah, prepare for the fun. Um, this could be a very short video or a very long one. Depends how long it takes to get this coil made and fitted in that. Uh... Right, so I'm going to put seven wraps on it. It's 26 gauge cancel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's that boy. Um, I'm now going to stick it on a different peg for reasons that will become clear in a minute. Um, I've had some disasters calling this thing. Um, tried various gauges, I've tried various diameters. Um, some are much easier to work with than others. But I find this one is probably one of the easiest to work with, which is why I chose it to do it on camera. This is my first <coughs> coil. Put my eyes on. Excuse me a second. Right. Um, now the way I do it, this is not by any means a tutorial of how to. This is just how I do it. Um, obviously the wick's going to have to go through there, so the coil needs to face that way. Um, I'll get it as focused as I can for you. Maybe a little bit better. So, yeah, it's a little fiddly. Now, the way I do it, and again, it's just the way I do it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, just the way I do it. That's why I leave these legs long, so I've got plenty to work with. Try doing it on a short, on a short piece, and you're asking for all kinds of trouble. Um, right. I do one first, anyone, depends whether you're left handed, right handed or whatever, get one nipped in and then I'm going to just use these pliers just to nip this up, it obviously gets tougher as you're tightening. Hopefully that's somewhere there or thereabouts. So this leg to help pull him round I'm going to put it in that way. And as you can see it's kind of pulling the coil round at the same time. Kind of. Um, that should be, should have got it. I'm 
sure there's a lot of you out there watching this thinking, I ain't doing all that just to get a vape. Um, but I like a challenge. This is probably slightly more challenging than the, than the um, Evil Monk, which is coming up in a video in the not too distant future. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Um, uh, obviously, got to get it over the the hole and away from the posts and all that kind of usual stuff. Bear with me a sec, folks. Just try and nip this up. get it to work for the purpose of this exercise then that'll do me right let's have a look see what's what <laughs> it's essentially now sitting in a pretty good position um, the coil as you can see is over the air hole those wires are fixed where we're getting somewhere close um, let's just have a look see if we've got a pulse it's one ohm according to this, so I'm just going to turn that off while I snip these wires. Because knowing my luck, I'll be firing it up. So that appears to be done. Cut that off. Cut that off. The last one came out at 0 0.8, 0 0.9, I think it was. So we're there or thereabouts. I'm sure it will change in a second once we've uh, burnt it in a little bit. Anyway, that doesn't look too bad to me. Um, it's not touching the posts. Um, it's pretty well lined up with the holes for the juice. Um, at this point you can take it down a bit if you want to I tend to leave it about there um, yep that's good enough for me I think still says one ohm let's just um, see how it's burning Turn the wick down, fugly. Okay. Let's get some focus going on if we can. There you go. That's pretty good. It's 
moved a little bit, so I'm going to put it back over the air hole. That looks about right to me. Check me. Yep. That's pretty much where it needs to be. Um, it's not the prettiest call in the world, <coughs> but it will do. Um, this little tool is great for this sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's better. Let's bang on the holes. Um, hole. No, it's not. I lied. When I said it was bang on the hole, I lied. Um, let me just give this a tweak. That's better. That's fine. Right, let's get it wicked up. Careful, obviously with this because the uh, coil is right over the air hole. But I'm just going to put a drop of juice on, just to cool that coil out a bit. So, pause the video for a second, give it a chance to cool, cool down. I think. Nope. Right, let's get ourselves a bit of wick in. Um, now, that there is very thin, and that may even be too thick. I don't know. Um, I'll try this first before I start to, to take the skin off the outside. try it. Doesn't seem too bad at the moment. So same rules apply. No that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Um, so obviously now we've got to put the wick in there. But if you notice there's threads there. Need three hands really. Some little tiny threads. Just there. So we've got to get it into the grooves and not down any further than the O ring, but obviously reset or inset into those that groove. Just gonna chop the end of that uh, bit of wicking off. I pinched it. Um, this is the fun bit. So that needs to go into there, like so. 
like so. Have enough to obviously wick the juice, but not too much to block up the hole. So what I do now, having got that far, this bloody camera is crap today. Just not playing at all. Um, so yeah, I'm in the wick. I'm in the groove on both sides and I'm clear of the threads for the chimney. So I'm going to put a little bit of juice on this wick. And I put it all the way down to the end. There's a good reason for that. You'll see in a minute why. So that's that. Chimney is going on. And there is the wick. And that is slightly too long. Because it's going to fail on the glass for the tank, I think. I chop a little bit off so it's just about level with the edge of the the o-ring so i found now if i just fold that up on both sides and drop the tank on over the top there's the wick both sides. I want to also now put some juice in there. And then I'm going to put the top on. out and fill it properly through the filly hole right so that for me is now done otherwise we'll be here all day me sitting here rabbit in and you haven't listened to me um, that's where we are 1.02 now um, so yeah put the outer sleeve on lovely just to the sound of that um, drip tip on it Right, I'll um, go back up top and uh, see if we can't give it a vape. Right, we're back with the RSBT and I'm going to marry it up with that, the Smock Fury S. Um, nice little mod. I think it was pretty damn sexy on there similar kind of machining um, top of that one but with that one um, the theory has got a locking button on it just keep turning it any which way lock unlock and you've got little markings on there for let's get some focus going there we go unlock 
lock and shut it either way so yeah it's um A one point two ohm coil, <clears throat> and as you can see, the airflow is not massive on it, but you know it's uh, it's all right. That ain't bad for a little tiny wick on it. Um, Thank you for sticking with me with that um, coiling debacle. Um, but that's, you know, it's a nice vape. Um, it's um, solid, obviously well made, it's smock, um, you know. Um, top fill uh, 22 mil diameter it's 48 mil high and it's 20 the, the, the tip tip the, the, the dip tip the drip tip 26 mil apparently um, so the drip tip is slightly smaller than that one I think it's got slightly thicker walls than that one um, Yeah, that's that's all right um, can't complain at all about that um, no point in me telling you how much I paid and where I got it from because they, they're no longer in business um, and that's the RSBT and there is now an RSBT2, which if you watch Vaping with Vic's video on the RSBT2, he calls the RSBT2 a steaming pile of shite. Because um, he says it's not as good as this one. So if you're going to get one, make sure you get the RSBT. Well, watch Vic's video first. Uh, and then um, basically the, the main difference is when you take the top off the RSBT2 you don't have that piece it's a top fill and the tank is just sitting there basically that's, that's one of them anyway the deck's a bit bigger it's a dual coil so horses for courses I mean I haven't got one Vic has got one um, and as with all these videos it's a good video worth watching so that's it I think I've um, rambled on quite long enough for one video <laughs> probably enough for two videos so thank you very much indeed for watching um, if you've liked the video <laughs> in some strange way leave me a like um, and subscribe leave me a comment uh, tell me to stop rabbiting on whatever um, I'm, I'm, I'm always pleased to get feedback of whatever sort so yeah thank you for watching have yourselves a damn good day more importantly, have yourselves a damn good vape. And I'll see you guys in the next one.